In New South Wales, a seedy tale of a politician and a prostitute named Tiffany have hogged the headlines over the past week. A former Labor minister, Ian MacDonald, today fronted an inquiry to deny allegations he demanded a call girl for the night in exchange for setting up a business opportunity for a property developer who's now facing murder charges. Deborah Cornwall reports. <laughs> In the last dying days of the New South Wales Labor government, the Energy Minister Ian MacDonald was so notorious for his fine dining and travel rorts, even his own colleagues called him Sir Lunchalot. Any comment? Uh, no comment. It's in the midst of a hearing and uh, we'll wait the, the outcome of the hearing. A very difficult day though, Ian. Well, I've been used to a lot of difficult days. Are you embarrassed? But after a week of public hearings by the Independent Commission Against Corruption, Ian MacDonald's adventures with a hooker called Tiffany have made him the butt of smutty jokes across the country. The prostitution, the cash, just the whole sleazy nature of it um, really epitomises, I think, for the New South Wales public, the levels to which uh, Labor in New South Wales has fallen. Unfortunately, the proposition that Mr McDonald had um, developed a sore neck during the course of business and needed to have it alleviated by a masseuse has just raised the whole prospect to a laughing stock. Welcome back to the public inquiry, the Commission. The ICAC inquiry has been looking into allegations. The former minister had spent the night with Tiffany on July 15, 2009. His reward for helping drum up a business opportunity for Sydney property tycoon Ron Medich so he could pitch for contract work for his electrical companies, the Rivercourt Group. Driving him to a hotel. Medich, who's currently awaiting trial over the murder of standover man Michael McGurk, has been the star witness at the inquiry. Also in the box was his former business associate and one-time boxing champ, Lucky Gatellari, who'd organised a smorgasbord of Chinese call girls to dine at the restaurant that night so McDonald could take his pick. The whole inquiry has the aspect of a Sopranos episode. We've had one witness, Lucky Gatellari, arriving to give evidence in a bulletproof vest. Uh, we have the star witness, Ron Medich, giving evidence with his ankle bracelet because he's currently on bail. Under questioning, Medich tried to tap dance his way out of some sticky questions. Insisting he'd met McDonald at his favourite Italian restaurant that night by pure coincidence. He also denied ambushing McDonald's two dining companions, both government energy executives, in the hope of getting a backdoor deal for his company. Giving evidence today, McDonald stuck to his story that all he'd been after that night was a massage for his stiff neck. But by the time he got to the hotel, he was so tired he'd gone straight to sleep. It's the same story Medich told McDonald's wife the next day. But according to Medich, he'd been telling Porkies. But perhaps far more damaging for the former minister has been some of the excruciating evidence from Tiffany herself. Earlier in the week, she told the inquiry while Gatellari had paid her to have sex, there was no intercourse that night, just some rough kissing and fondling, and McDonald big noting himself about what an important man he was. Tiffany, in fact, had been so disgusted by McDonald, she later told a friend he'd made her feel like throwing up. You have to feel slightly sorry for former Minister McDonald. The humiliation of what Mr McDonald has had to endure from this inquiry is far more damaging than any uh, legal retribution that may or may not follow. That inquiry is expected to wrap up tomorrow. Deborah Cornwall reporting.